Hello and welcome back to the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. I am your host, Chris Doman, a.k.a. the unofficial Harloff, Chris Skywalker. Here with me tonight, co-hosting this uh, fun little match we got, is Evan Showtime DeGraff, somewhat fresh off his um, unfortunate... Uh, record. For, it's yeah, a record. Yeah, of his unfortunate record. There we go. Uh, Evan, you ready to break your, uh, break your legs in with uh, co-hosting? Well, I thought I needed to take a break from breaking records because I know everybody began will becoming a little jealous of my record breaking skills. So, I thought I should break another record by becoming the best host on this show. Well, you got a ways to go before you can top me in that one, but um, <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. I appreciate the effort. Um, so, if we're all set, let's meet our competitors tonight. Evan, who do we got? Manning the Melchum Franks. He claims his strengths are classics, animated, Star Wars, Oscars, and is from Greensboro, North Carolina. Are you ready to go, uh, Manning? Absolutely. I'm ready to face Ryan once again. We've been faced off in Movie Wars, so I'm ready for a nice rematch. Are you Are you going to hold up the promise of being the Maelstrom? Uh, hey, it rhymed, and I thought, let's go with it. Let's have the persona. You know, why not? Let's do it. And as opponent, we have... Ryan McKenna. No no nickname. You know what? That's okay, though. Not everyone needs one. And his strengths are Star Wars, comic book movies, animated films, and Oscars. And he is from Boston, Massachusetts, by way of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. So apparently he's a Campia fanboy. I get it. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm man. a Sox fan. Yeah. That means anything. You know, he's solid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well... Let's quit kicking the can around. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. Introducing first, hailing from Greensboro, North Carolina, from schmoesno.com, give it up for the Maelstrom, Manning Franks, and his opponent, also hailing from schmoesno.com, give it up. For Ryan McKenna! Let's do this. So round one is going to go like this. Each competitor will receive four questions from four predetermined categories in sets of twos. Each question is worth one point apiece, and there is no stealing. Manning, you are actually the favorite going in. Would you like to go first or second? I'll go second. Sounds good. And Ryan, please choose. Would you like to receive questions from Category 1 or Category 2? Well, I think winners pick one, so let's go with that. Sounds good. <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay, then. Uh, Evan, I will have you ask Ryan, and I will ask Manning. Okay. So, Ryan, uh, from the category of biopics, news fabricator Stephen Glass was an article writer for which magazine in Shattered Glass? Oh, um, the Chicago Tribune? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. The New Republic. Okay. All right, in the category of family films, what item did Dorothy and her friends have to bring back to the wizard in The Wizard of Oz? They had to bring back the ruby red slippers. I'm sorry to say, but that is incorrect. No. It is the Wicked Witch's Broomstick. Yeah. Uh, yes. That's all good. That's all good. To be fair, a lot of people tend to struggle with the opening round in their first match, so do not feel bad. Now we come over to the Maelstrom. Manning, for your first question, under the category of biopics, the movie 13 right. Hours is based off of real-life events that happened in what year? I was gonna watch this today too. Great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't. Um, oh, I know this. Um, Five, four, three. 2014. That is incorrect. I was looking for yeah. 2012. Close though, very close. Really? Yes. Wow, it's been so cool. For your second question under the category of family, which Batman actor starred in the 1992 Disney musical Newsies? I don't know. I was looking for Christian Bale. Oh, 
Oh, duh. Okay, you're right. Yes, ah, yes. Okay, so I, was thinking of, I was thinking of Batman from, from, and Batman like with, with um, Keaton. I'm like, I don't remember anyone, so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all good, man. All right, Evan. Uh, Administer Ryan his last two questions. All right, Ryan, from the category of horror, what is Thomas Jane's job at the facility in the Deep Blue Sea? Uh, Thomas Jane is, uh, he's like the animal keeper, isn't he, in that movie? We'll accept uh, that. The, oh, officially, it's Shark Wrangler, but we will accept that. All right. <laughs> cool. So, finally on the board, not too shabby. Okay. Um, and now, in the category of drama, what is the name of Jack Dawson's Italian friend in Titanic? Uh, I I don't know. There's no point in waiting the time. No, oh, it's a very <laughs> Italian name. It's it's Fabrizio. Good for him. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. He, 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 you gotta say it doesn't matter. He was dead by the end of the film anyway. So, spoiler alert. Ah, these people have seen it by now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we come back over to Manning for his last two in round one. For the third question under the category of horror. What was the subtitle of the third Nightmare on Elm Street? Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, I'm not a horror guy, so I'm going to be taking a shot in the dark, but is it Jason's Revenge? I'm sorry, Freddy's Revenge. Oh, well, if you're going for number two, that would have been correct. The correct answer Uh, was the Dream Warriors. Dream Warriors. (laughs) Ah, crap. Good film, great song by Dawkins. Okay. I'll say, Ryan, you're smiling like you knew it. <laughs> I did know that one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Respect. Manny, for your last question, under the category of okay. drama, what type of animal is being prepared in the opening to City of God? City of God. <laughs> um, a goat. That is incorrect. I was looking for ah. a chicken. Okay. I haven't seen that movie either. <laughs> it's all good. That's that was so, a great uh, start. It's a great start, but you know what? Um, a lot a lot of matches sometimes do have a bit of a, a bit of a slow first round, and it's all good. As we transition over uh, with a score of one to nothing, Ryan is in the lead. We now go into round two, which goes something like this. Each competitor will choose a number between 1 and 6, which pertains to a certain movie category. You will be given the category names ahead of time, but not the number they are associated with. And you may pick twice, but you must stick with the second category if the first one is not to your liking. You will then be given four questions, each worth two points apiece, but multiple choice is available for one point, and there is stealing in this round. So... Ryan, since you are in the lead, would you like to go first or second? I will go first. All right. So the categories in this round are Marvel, Pixar, Star Wars, movie release dates, sports, and 80s. Choose a number between one and six. Uh, Let's try five. You have selected Marvel. Would you like to keep it or go with something else? Uh... I'll keep it at risk of getting sports. <laughs> Fair enough. Evan, would you like to administer the questions? Yeah, I got it. Uh, from the category of Marvel, what is the relationship between Wolverine and Sabretooth as revealed in X-Men Origins Wolverine? Uh, they were... Um... Actually, I'm going to go multiple choice. All right. Is it A? Stepbrothers, B, best friends, C, cousins, or D, half brothers. Uh, half brothers. You are correct for one point. All cool. right, that's now two points. All right, question two in the category of Marvel. What is the alias that Ghost Rider goes by as a professional motorcycle stuntman? Oh, um, I'll go multiple choice for this one. Okay, A, Johnny Blaze. There's another point. (laughs) Well done. He got me straight off. 
Alright, um, yeah, alright, now you got two points in round two. Um, for question three, in the category of Marvel, what is the name of the alien race that invades, that invades the Earth in the Avengers? Uh, they're the Chitauri. Oh man, he's on fire right now. Two points. Alright, that is now four points total. Uh, moving on to the final question. Spider-Man 2 won at the 2005 Academy Awards for what category? Spider-Man 2 won at the 2005 Academy Awards for what category? Great film. Uh, I'll go multiple choice. Okay. A. Best sound editing. B. Best sound mixing. C. Best editing. Or D. Best visuals. Uh, I'll go with sound mixing. That's incorrect. Manning, chance to steal. <laughs> Visual effects. And that is a point successfully stolen off Ryan McKenna by Mr. Ryan Manning Franks. Well done, sir. So that leaves Ryan with five points, right? Yep. Total. The yeah. score right now is five to one, and Manning uh, is now your turn for round two. Please choose a number between one and six, and five is off the table. Let's go with six, then. You have selected the category of Star Wars. Ah. Yes, I am taking it. I am taking that. Poor Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me wrong, Manning. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, if I get anything wrong, I'm not going to live it down for myself, so. <laughs> That's uh, true. <laughs> please continue. All right. For your first question, under the category of Star Wars, who plays Jango Fett in Attack of the Clones? Mir Morrison. That is correct. Two points. Okay. Next question. How much money does Jabba initially offer for for Chewbacca in Return of the Jedi? I'm actually going to have multiple choice for this. Okay, your options are A, 35,000, B, 50,000, C, 25,000, D, 45,000. And the question was once again, how much, how does, much Jabba, for the first... does Jabba initially okay. offer for Chewbacca? Let's go with C. That is correct. He did initially Ooh, for 25 okay. and settled for 35. Okay. Because apparently he can negotiate when a thermal detonator is being thrown in his face. <laughs> I, I would again. too. <laughs> After entering your third question. After entering okay. the Death Star, Han and Luke dress up as stormtroopers. Luke gets called upon, and what is his call sign? TK421. That is correct. Four. Two points. Awesome. And for your final question under the category of Star Wars, on what planet is Maz Kanata's castle based? Tokadana. Jesus. Seven points. Holy Ooh. crap. All right. That's, that's quite powerful. I think, lead. Ka I think Case and Kur uh, Kearns might be finding their match right here. Mm. That'd be pretty cool, not gonna lie. Uh, it was oh. a pretty weak four questions. <laughs> <laughs> I, hey, hey, that credits one was very hard, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember the subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Gotta watch the Return of the Jedi a couple more times. Apparently. I, okay, maybe, maybe, I probably will now. <laughs> All right, so we come out of round two with the score currently being Manning at eight points and Ryan at five. No, round three, and it goes as such. Each competitor will be given the year, genre, and three plot keywords of a given film. If they know the answer from that information alone, they will receive five points. If they need two more keywords, the total possible goes down to three points. And if one last keyword is needed, the total possible is one point, and there is no stealing in this round. Manning, because you were in the lead, I'll give you the option of picking either movie number one or movie number two. Uh, as Ryan said, one is for winners, so let's go with one. Ooh. A little bit of smack Ooh. talk. Good, good. Ding, ding. <laughs> and uh, Ryan, I'll actually have you go first, since you are currently behind. Now, a little, a little thing here. If, let's say, Ryan misses and Manning hits, he wins by a technical knockout. However, if, let's say, they both miss, 
then we go to round four. Sounds good? Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Ryan, your year is 2010. Your genre, comedy, drama, and romance. Your plot keywords are high school, outcast, and rumor. I'm sorry, can you replace that last one again? Yes. Your plot keywords are high school, outcast, and rumor. Uh, I'm going to take a stab and say easy A. Five <gasps> points for Ryan McKenna. <laughs> nice, nice. Wow. Now he takes a two-point lead, not too shabby. Manning, are you ready? I'm ready. Your year is 2007. The genre is crime, drama, and mystery. Your three, your three plot keywords are neighborhood, Irish American, and pedophile. Wait, say the second one again? Uh, your plot keywords are neighborhood, Irish American, and pedophile. Irish American. Irish American. And 2007, correct? Yes. I'm gonna need a few more keywords. Um, the next two are private investigator and police shootout. Mystery. I really, and how many points do I get if I answer it now? Three. Three? Okay. Three. And one if I uh, ask for uh, one more thing, correct? Right? Yes. I, uh, I'm going to have to go one more time. Uh, the last keyword is Dorchester, Massachusetts. And again, I'm... Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Ryan, Ryan, do you know this? <laughs> I don't. I know where Dorchester, Massachusetts is. I've been there. <laughs> I, I, I imagine so. Uh, All right, I'm um, going to have to give you a five counter. Five, four, three, I don't two, know. one. In the words of Scott Mance, your answer is gone, baby, gone! Oh, are you serious? I was... Oh, come on. I was thinking... The one Ben Affleck film I haven't seen. Oh. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'm not going to live that down. I'm not going to live that one down. <laughs> Oh, jeez. It's all right. I, I still am not living down Argo, so don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah, more like Argo, f*** yourself. So. Um, <laughs> okay, so we come out of round three, the score being 10 to 8. As we go for the first time uh, in a couple of matches, now we go to round four, and it goes a little something like this. The competitor who is behind has the option to go first. If they guess their first answer correctly, they may answer again until a tie or possible win. However, if they guess incorrectly, the person who is currently in the lead has a chance to finish it right then and there. And because there is enough of a point distance to where this is still feasible, basically put, Manning, this is your last shot at redemption. Alright, so Manning. Category is James Bond actors, and I will give you the name of the film. You'll give me the name of the actor. <laughs> All right. Hope you know your Bond. Uh, we'll find out. <laughs> for your first one, for the possible comeback, the world is not enough. Yes, Rosman. Oh my God! Nine to ten. <clears throat> your second one, the man with the golden gun. Roger Moore. Holy tie game. He could still, he could come back. It's... Your third one, Skyfall. Daniel Craig. 11 to 10, he takes the lead. If he gets his next one, he finishes it right now. License to kill. Oh, come on. Um, ooh. <laughs> oh, what's his name, what's his name, what's his name? Uh, uh, five, four, <laughs> Three, two, one. I don't know. Time. <gasps> Timothy Man. Dalton. Timothy Dalton, that was it. Ah, couldn't think of him. Ryan? Yo. Here's for the tiebreaker. You only live twice. 
You only live twice was... Uh, that was uh, Roger Moore. And your winner! The Maelstrom Manning Franks! The correct answer was the very Woo! first one, Sean, Sean Connery. Connery. Yeah. But you know what, guys? <sighs> Great fight. Yeah, man, that was almost... <laughs> yeah, that was something. <laughs> But good job, Manning. You deserve the win. He most certainly did. Um, and Manning, I got a question for you. So going forward, uh, is there anyone you want to take on next, or do you want to maybe just wait till another person sort of comes your way? Ooh. Oh. Um. Ah, uh, at this time, I'm gonna wait and see. You know, who wants to step up to the plate? Sounds good. Ryan, same thing. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm not sure anyone immediately I want to call out, but. Might be looking for someone soon. All right, sounds good. Evan, thoughts on the thoughts on the match? Well, there, there's a point in time where I thought Brian had it in the bag, but well, right now there's a point in time where I thought Manny was about to run away. To be honest, so it was very neck and neck. You enjoyed that about it. But then Ryan, you know, started answering questions on questions on questions and proving himself. Uh, truly, I do think Ryan is the better competitor. No digs at Manning at all, um, because 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 he rolled Star Wars. You know, it's the luck of the wheel. But that being said, it was a fantastic match. I would love to see these two uh, competitors come back in. Like, I think Manning would have a great matchup against Zabe Ray, uh, Remen. That if that's it, uh, and I'll do it. This has been the Fan Movie Trivia Schmodown. I am your host, Chris Dolman, and we'll see you at the next match. Take care.